everyone, it's Katie, and I'm uh, here for my one week update. One week, I can hardly even believe it. So, um, first I was going to show you what I've been using this week. The things that have gotten me by and the things that have helped me. Um, so, here they are. Um, and I'm going to, I don't know, the camera's a little, because I'm on my laptop, so huh, I don't know. Just bear with me. Okay, the very first thing, of course, is my hand blender. And I use this for every shake. And it's pretty awesome. If you haven't seen one, that's how it goes. And then it just blends in there. It's perfect. So um, I highly recommend getting one. Um, I think they're pretty cheap at Costco or wherever, basically. Um, next thing that I got is this really cool little thing. I got it from... Groupon actually, but check this out. This part you can put your powder in, like your protein powder. This part you can put your vitamins in. And then this part there is a filter for any like chunkies or anything because I can't stand the powdered chunks if there's any left. So that is kind of fun. Um, okay. Next, um, well, actually, I'll just, I don't know. Yeah. Next is um, I have been doing for breakfast, I've been doing a protein shake. Um, I've been getting in my um, protein like a champ. I'm patting myself on the back. Um, every day it's been um, at least 75 grams of protein. Um, Sometimes, like yesterday, I reached 105, which I thought was um, impossible, but it's not. Um, what I'm doing is every hour on the hour, I'm taking in protein. So um, I, um, I have um, like four to eight grams of protein every hour. Um, my doctor recommended two grams and then anything else above and beyond that. So um, I'm just doing that first and then I'm also hitting my water. So like four to six ounces of water per, per hour. Um, and that seems to be really working well for me. I've had, well, we'll go to the health stuff soon because I had a little scare in the hospital, but um, everything's fine. So, okay, back to this. Sorry. Focus. Uh, this is my favorite thing in the universe right now. Um, PB2, it is um, two tablespoons is 45 calories. It has five grams of protein and one sugar, but it has a total carbs of five. Um, but it's delicious, and you can get it at um, Fred Meyer and I think Walmart as well. Um, okay. And then this has been my protein powder of choice right now, the chocolate truffle nectar. Um, it's very delicious. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you're seeing this backwards, so sorry. Um, okay. Also, um, I am trying not to do uh, sugar-free stuff. It just doesn't taste good to me. So I got flavorings, um, extracts. This is orange extract almond extract, coconut, and peppermint. And so for my morning shake, what I've been doing is I will do the, um, the chocolate powder, and then I'll do what I've been doing the last two mornings, which I love, is like a fourth of a teaspoon of coconut and a fourth of a teaspoon of almond. And it's like an almond joy. Yum. Um, Okay, and then I also have um, some unflavored samples of protein powder. So anything that I drink, um, like broth or tea or something, I'll have blended this up first and left it like in the refrigerator or something. And so I'll use it um, in my broth. So this one is um, Optimum Nutrition Anyway Unflavored, and I got it from NashuaNutrition.com. But I've also tried the Syntrax Nectar Medical Unflavored kind. And it has a bit of a sweet, like, vanilla-y type flavor. So it's good for, like, teas. Um, 
and that sort of thing, but not very good for savory stuff like soups and stuff like that. Um, and then um, I have a whole bag of teas. And tea really helped me right out of the hospital because I had a really bad sore throat. Um, and so I had um, I had lots of, I had tea. Tea helped me. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, and this, when I'm not, um, I still appear. I, so um, I, I wake up in the morning, I have a, a shake um, with milk. And so that's about... 31 grams of protein and then I usually drink one of these throughout the day. I find that I can't drink more than like four ounces at a time because I get like a weird, it kind of like cakes my throat or something. So I space it out. But before surgery, couldn't stand them. I absolutely, I was just like, there is no way I'm going to drink these. But after surgery, I find that they're bearable and I think maybe I find them bearable because they're 40 grams of protein. Um, and I can choke this down in a day. Uh, and also, I don't know if you've seen it, but I posted a picture on Facebook about my friends and I doing isopure shots. So maybe I'll put that in this video too. Um, but I have, um, this is peach mango. I have, um, I have, uh, grape frost and this one oh no this isn't my favorite my favorite's gone already blue raspberry but it's also very good my favorite one is uh, apple melon that's my favorite um, okay now kind of on to more like pharmaceutical medical type stuff um, so this thing you need one if you're coming out of like the hospital um, this is <laughs> looks a little phallic <laughs> but um it's a spirometer and it measures your lung capacity um and this is what I um I was doing but not getting enough air like into my lungs um and so I um I actually for those of you who don't know I I was um in the hospital on Saturday because I developed a cough on Christmas and then it developed into um, a cough plus a fever of 102. So I had to go to the ER and they ran a whole gamut of tests on me, like a whole gamut. And they um, determined that I had um, early pneumonia. So I'm glad I caught it. I um, am on antibiotics. I'm doing so much better, um, but this is what you need to do. So you need to get the ball up here. And right now, I just woke up, so it's not there. Oops. <coughs> okay, and then usually I have to stay in the happy face line, but it takes a while for me to get there. So, yesterday... As the Hawks were winning, go Hawks, I was just like doing that thing the whole time. It was pretty funny. Um, so I'm trying to get my lungs a little better. I feel a lot better now, but it was a little bit of a, a scare there for a while. Okay, the other thing that I can't live without is this thing. Um, my mom made this. Um, it's basically just like a flannel tube with... Um, wheat inside and I just put it in the microwave and put it over my belly and it was so wonderful I still use it like I I use it when I go to sleep and everything so this is it it's really been helpful <coughs> oh and this I forgot about this part so this um this has been my water bottle and it's 20 ounces and I don't go anywhere without it. Like I, I drink all the time. I have a drinking problem, but the good kind of drinking problem. Oh my gosh, it's already 10 minutes and I haven't even started anything yet. Um, so maybe I'll just make this video about what I needed my first week. Um, because I also um, did milk of magnesia. And I cut off the pooping at 
at the pass. I took this before I got constipated. So I took it on day, so I took it the day I came home from the hospital. So that was day three. No, no, that's not right. I took it on day two, day four, and day six. And um, I have not had any constipation. Um, I've been regular and I, have, I haven't had it since like Friday. So, and I've been doing just fine with everything's moving, everything's going great. So, um, I, I don't recommend the flavor, but what can you do? You just shoot it like a shot, chase it with some isopure, you're good to go. Um, okay, also for like afterwards, <coughs> um, just for me, because I had this um, lung thing, I used vapor rub. Um, and also I was just like a dry throat before I started the cough. There was like a dry throat. This is my little, um, EOS. Um, I can't live without it. So this was in the hospital with me. It was, it went everywhere. Um, okay. Now just for like, I got this, it's for, um, actually like for pregnancy, but I'm using it for my stomach and my arms. Um, I know I'm going to get loose skin, but I figured I might as well just try to help it with my elasticity of my skin, like going back. So I got this. We'll see. Um, and then also for my hair loss, I've been looking up like home remedies and stuff. So this is castor oil and I'm not using it as castor oil should be because it's actually a laxative. But if um, you put it on your root, it's like a root stimulant as as far as the interweb says. So we'll see how it works. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if this is actually going to work or if it's going to make all of my hair fall out and by week two, I'm going to be bald. I have no idea. And uh, one more thing is um, my cousin is really awesome and she um, sent me, she made these bone broth um, things. So she basically, what a bone broth is, is um, you, um, basically make a stock, but it's made out of um, either beef bones or chicken bones, and she flavored it. Um, so I have these little two ounce packets that she did for me. Um, one is lemongrass, ginger, and beef, and the other one is spiced um, anise and cloves and rosemary, um, and it's beef. And then, so like she's, she gave me like a, a huge bag of both. So like, um, and it's so good. It's like, um, it's, it's just really smooth going down and it's got some good protein in it. And basically it's just really good for your health too. There's a lot of vitamins and minerals in bones. So, um, if anybody's interested in learning more about that, I can try to find the links to how to do it yourself. Um, so anyway, so that's been a really good source of, um, just basically like coating my stomach with really good nutrients. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, now I understand how people can have really long videos. This is crazy. So I'm going to stop it here. Um, I have a lot to say. So um, I will actually give you an update next time. Okay. <laughs>